Yamaha FG770S made in Taiwan. It has a solid spruce top, solid mahogany back and sides, a mahogany neck, a rosewood fretboard, a rosewood bridge. I got bone pins, bone saddle, plastic nut, the tuners, or stock Maha, or stock Yamaha. <clears throat> this is a one and three quarter nut, and this is a 1979 guitar. That's right, 44 years old. And take a look at this beauty. Looks like a two piece back, a two piece front, and man, it's a good looking guitar. For a Yamaha, I'm not a big Yamaha fan. <clears throat> but, one of the things I wanna to talk to you about is how good this guitar plays. Now, I paid $25 for the, or $35 for the guitar, $25 for a uh, gator case, hard gator case. They came together from the same person, and the backstory on the guitar is that she was a missionary and back in 79, she was 19 years old, I think. So born in 60 and took this guitar all over the world and played it in, you know, worship. And uh, I guess her uncle gave her a, a new guitar, a Martin, I think, and decided she wanted to sell this one. She put it on Facebook Marketplace for $35. I was the first one to respond and I ran to get this guitar. And when I got it, the action was terrible. It was so big that you could barely play the guitar. The strings were 20 years old, and I'm like, gosh, I may have gotten a dud, but I'm gonna go ahead and get it. I couldn't go wrong. Solid wood guitar, this is one of the few that FG series that they made in a solid wood guitar. Let's hear this sucker. It sounds great. It, it really does. It's got a lot of resonance in it. Like it, terrible holding up here, but. Really sounds good. So I'm gonna tell you the secret to the way I buy these guitars so inexpensive. <clears throat> what I do is I get on Craigslist Facebook Marketplace, Reverb, and eBay. And I'll just look at a guitar and I try to be the first one to get it, um, but I look often. And if I think it's a good deal and a good price, I'll run over and look at it pretty quick. This guitar right here, I've seen them going in excellent condition from anywhere between $500,000 in very good condition, which this one is, uh, they go between three and $500. Uh, with a hard case, I'd probably sell it for <clears throat> maybe a little bit more. I don't know. I, I really don't want to get rid of this guitar, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. Uh, I collect them. So hard to get rid of them. I love every dang one. But this one here 
is one of the better sounding guitars, especially for a guitar only paid $35 for. <laughs> It just really sounds good. And my thing is you have to be patient when you're, if you want to buy a guitar and you don't want to spend a lot of money, uh, maybe you're like me and you have a limited budget. I, I don't have the money. I, I've, I've got a pretty expensive Martin and I've got my Bedell. Uh, so I've, I've got the expensive guitars I want. Now I can get those good guitars that aren't you ain't got to be a name snob to get them you don't have to be uh you know it's got to be a martin or a taylor or a gibson you can actually just look around and I, i'm finding out with alvarez I, gosh i love them uh yamaha i've never been a big fan of i've never heard many that are great sounding guitars but i found this one and it is a great sounding guitar uh, there, there's other names out there that, you know, we've all heard and, uh, I, I don't get into the ones that are way above even Martin and Taylor, but, uh, I really love, love looking for finding and picking up, uh, new guitars. And so that's what I did with this one, this Yamaha right here, nothing electric about it. You can see a little nick there. And here are a couple of tiny dents. There's not any buckle rash you can see, maybe a little nick there. But for the most part, for a 40 something year old guitar, that's solid. Anyway, that's my take on this guitar and I appreciate you and thank you.